Hello, I'm Ken Johnson, and welcome to the New Hope Reads Ministry. We hope you will visit daily as we read from the Chronological Bible. May our time spent together in God's Word be a blessing to us all as God reveals Himself and His nature, as He opens our minds, and as He prepares our hearts for our good and His service. Again, thank you for joining us. March 29th, the land given to Joshua. Joshua 19, verses 49 through 51. After all the land was divided among the tribes, the Israelites gave a piece of land to Joshua as his allocation. For the Lord had said he could have any town he wanted. He chose Timnath Sarah in the hills of Ephraim. He built the town and lived there. These are the territories that Eleazar the priest, Joshua son of Nun, and the tribal leaders allocated as grants of land to the tribes of Israel by casting sacred lots in the presence of the Lord at the entrance of the tabernacle at Shiloh. So the division of land was completed. The Cities of Refuge, Joshua chapter 20, verses 1 through 9. The Lord said to Joshua, Now tell the Israelites to designate the cities of refuge as I instructed Moses. Anyone who kills another person accidentally and unintentionally can run to one of these cities. They will be places of refuge from relatives seeking revenge for the person who was killed. Upon reaching one of the cities, the one who caused the death will appear before the elders at the city gate and present his case. They must allow him to enter the city and give him a place to live among them. If the relatives of the victim come to avenge the killing, the leaders must not release the slayer to them, for he killed the other person unintentionally and without provision hostily. But the slayer must stay in that city and be tried by the local assembly, which will render a judgment. And he must continue to live in that city until the death of the high priest who was in office at the time of the accident. After that, he is free to return to his own home in the town from which he fled. The following cities were designated as cities of refuge. Kadesh of Galilee in the hill country of Naphtali, Shechem in the hill country of Ephraim, and Karetha Araba, that is Hebron, in the hill country of Judah. On the east side of the Jordan River, across from Jericho, the following cities were designated. Bezer in the wilderness plain of the tribe of Reuben, Ramoth in Gilead, in the territory of the tribe of Gad, and Golan in Bashan, in the land of the tribe of Manasseh. The cities were set apart for all the Israelites, as well as the foreigners living among them. Anyone who accidentally killed another person could take refuge in one of these cities. In this way, they could escape being killed in revenge prior to standing trial before the local assembly. The towns given to the Levites, Joshua 21, verses 1 through 45. Then the leaders of the tribe of Levi came to consult with Eleazar the priest, Joshua son of Nun, and the leaders of the tribes of Israel. They came to them at Shiloh in the land of Canaan and said, The Lord commanded Moses to give us towns to live in and pasture lands for our stock. So by the command of us, the Lord of the people of Israel gave the Levites the following towns and pasture lands out of their own grants of land. The descendants of Aaron, who were members of the Hakathite clan within the tribe of Levi, were allotted 13 towns that were originally assigned to the tribes of Judah, Simeon, and Benjamin. The other families of the Kahathite clan were allotted 10 towns from the tribes of Ephraim, Dan, and the half-tribe of Manasseh. The clan of Gershon was allotted 13 towns from the tribes of Issachar, Asher, Naphtali, and the half-tribe of Manasseh in Bashan. The clan of Merari was allotted 12 towns from the tribe of Reuben, Gad, and Zebulun. 
So the Israelites obeyed the Lord's command to Moses and assigned these towns and pasture lands to the Levites by casting sacred lots. The Israelites gave the following towns from the tribes of Judah and Simeon to the descendants of Aaron, who were members of the Kahathite clan within the tribe of Levi, since the sacred lot fell to them first. Kiriath Arba, that is Hebron, in the hill country of Judah, along with its surrounding pasture lands. Arba was an ancestor of Anak. But the open fields beyond the town and the surrounding villages were given to Caleb, son of Jephunneh, and his possessions. The following towns with their pasture lands were given to the descendants of Aaron the priest. Hebron, a city of refuge for those who accidentally killed someone, Libna, Jatir, Eshtemoa, Holon, Debir, Ain, Jada, and Bethshema, nine towns from these two tribes. From the tribe of Benjamin, the priests were given the following towns with their pasture lands, Gibeon, Geba, Anathoth, and Almon, four towns. So in all, thirteen towns with their pasture lands were given to the priest, the descendants of Aaron. The rest of the Kohathite clan from the tribe of Levi was allotted the following towns and pasture lands from the tribe of Ephraim. Shechem, in the hill country of Ephraim, a city of refuge for those who accidentally killed someone. Gezer, Gibzaim, and Bethhoron, four towns. The following towns and pasture lands were allotted to the priests from the tribe of Dan. Elteca, Gibbethon, Aijalon and Gathramon, four towns. The half-tribe of Manasseh allotted the following towns with their pasture land were given to the rest of the Kohathite clan. The descendants of Gershon, another clan within the tribe of Levi, received the following towns with their pasture lands from the half-tribe of Manasseh. Golan in Bashan, a city of refuge for those who accidentally killed someone, and Beeshtera, two towns. From the tribe of Issachar, they received the following towns with their pasture land. Kishion, Dabroth, Jarmuth, and Edganin, four towns. From the tribe of Asher, they received the following towns with their pasture land. Mishal, Abdon, Helkath, and Rehob, four towns. From the tribe of Nephtali, they received the following towns with their pasture lands. Kadesh in Galilee, a city of refuge for those who accidentally killed someone. Hamath Dor and Kartan, three towns. So in all, thirteen towns with their pasture lands were allotted to the clan of Gershon. The rest of the Levites, the Merari clan, were given the following towns with their pasture lands from the tribe of Zebulun. Jokinim, Karta, Dimna, and Nahalal four towns. From the tribe of Reuben, they received the following towns with their pasture lands. Bezer, Jahaz, Kedimoth, and Meftath, four towns. From the tribe of Gad, they received the following towns with their pasture lands. Ramoth and Gilead, a city of refuge for those who accidentally killed someone. Mahanaim, Hezbon, and Jazer. Four towns, so in all, twelve towns were allotted to the clan of Merari. The total number of towns and pasture lands within Israelite territory given to the Levites came to forty-eight. Every one of these towns had pasture land surrounding it. So the Lord gave to Israel all the land he had sworn to give their ancestors, and they took possession of it and settled there. And the Lord gave them rest on every side just as he had solemnly promised their ancestors. None of their enemies could stand against them, for the Lord helped them conquer all their enemies. Not a single one of all the good promises the Lord had given to the family of Israel was left unfulfilled. Everything he had spoken came true. Territory of the Levites. This is First Chronicles chapter 6, verses 54 through 81. This is a record of the towns and territories assigned by means of sacred lots to the descendants of Aaron, 
who were from the, cl the clan of Koath. This territory, including Hebron and its surrounding pasture lands in Judah, but the fields and outlying areas belonging to the city were given to Caleb, son of Jephunneh. So the descendants of Aaron were given the following towns, each within its pasture lands. Hebron, a city of refuge, Libna, Jatir, Eshtemoa, Holon, Debir, Ain, Jutta, and Beth Shemesh. And from the territory of Benjamin they were given Gibeon, Geba, Alameth, and Anathoth, each within each with its pasture lands. So thirteen towns were given to the descendants of Aaron. The remaining descendants of Koath received ten towns from the territory of the half tribe of Manasseh by means of sacred lots. The descendants of Gershon received by sacred lots thirteen towns from the territories of Issachar, Asher, Naphtali, and from Bashan area of Manasseh, east of the Jordan. The descendants of Merari received the sacred lots twelve towns from the territories of Reuben, Gad, and Zebulun. So the people of Israel assigned all these towns and pasture lands to the Levites. The towns in the territories of Judah, Simeon, and Benjamin, Benjamin mentioned above, were assigned to them by means of sacred lots. The descendants of Kohath were given the following towns from the territory of Ephraim, each with its pasture lands. Shechem, a city of refuge in the hill country of Ephraim, Gezer, Jokmim, Bethhoron, Aijalon, and Gathrimon, the remaining descendants of Kohath were assigned the towns of Anner and Belim from the territory of the half-tribe of Manasseh, each with its pasture lands. The descendants of Gershon received the towns of Golan in Bashan and Ashtoreth from the territory of the half-tribe of Manasseh, each with its pasture lands. From the territory of Issachar, they were given Kadesh, Dabrath, Ramoth, and Anam, each with its pasture lands. From the territory of Asher, they received Mashal, Abdon, Hukuk, and Rehob, each with its pasture lands. From the territory of Naphtali, they were given Kadesh in Galilee, Haman, and Kiriathame, each with its pasture lands. The remaining descendants of Merari received the towns of Joknim, Karta, Rimon, and Tabor from the territory of Zebulun, each with its pasture lands. From the territory of Reuben, east of the Jordan River opposite Jericho, they received Bezer, a desert town, Jahaz, Kedemoth, and Mephath, each with its pasture lands. And from the territory of Gad, they received Ramoth and Gilead, Mahanaim, Hezbon, and Jazer, each with its pasture lands. Hi there, and welcome to New Hope Reads. I'm Mark Roof, and we are delighted that you've joined us to share in the reading of God's Word. It's very important that we share this together and be in God's Word daily. And by the way, we'd like to invite you to join us here at New Hope Church of Christ anytime you get a chance. Sunday mornings, we have classes at 9.30, we have worship at 10.30, and you can join us live or online. Have a blessed day.